Hi. Shock, horror, what a surprise. Who'd have ever guessed? After all the denials, racism in the heart of the royal household. During the charity event at Buckingham Palace the other day, Ngozi Fulani was approached by that hideous old crone, Baroness Lazy Susan, Susan Hussey, who repeatedly, aggressively, insultingly goaded her by asking, Where are you from? The entire dialogue has been transcribed. Lady Susan couldn't take Britain for an answer. This Lady Susan is deeply embedded in the royal family and household, not a mere flunky. She's William's godmother, one of the Queen Camilla set. And I wonder about where Lady Susan comes from. No doubt the product of an incestuous aristocratic couple in centuries back. So, for the King, Charles III, he seems to have ducked out of the affair, unavailable for comment. This incident is just one tiny example of endemic racism in the heart of the royal household, the whole institution itself. After all, much royal wealth is founded upon slavery. It's no surprise they are out and out racists and believe that they are superior breed to all their subjects. Let's hope people of colour and working class who receive gongs and such like boycott these soirees with the royals. The whole institution of monarchy has to go, and now. We're living in an atmosphere that has the feel of the pre-French Revolution period, with an entire family of reactionary inbreds lording it over us with power, wealth and ultra-privilege. They've got to go, along with the army of hangers-on and servants, deference and groveling subordination that accompanies us, paid for by us who are struggling between the choice of heating or eating. And it's about time we started oiling those tumbril wheels. Bye.